Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. God is, um, God don't change. You know, that's, that don't make no sense. If God don't change, how can you can, I can now you can change the Sabbath. I hear you, but there's different denominations in Christians. That's not according to the Bible. You understand? But denominations? All the, yeah, all the denominations. Aren't those denominations? Those are tribes. Those are one nation of people, different 12 tribes. You understand? That's not a religion. And where do you get those tribes from? Give me Genesis 49. The, you're going you're gonna to see the tribes are the, the, the children of the four awful fathers. All right? Jacob have 12 sons. Those 12 sons have children. And the 12 tribes of Israel are the descendants of Jacob. You understand? That's where we get the 12 tribes from. We don't. Verse 1. Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. So remember, Jacob called unto his sons. He said, Come together, right? Read on. That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So he says, Look, come, gather around me. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to you on the last days. This is the last days. Jacob was prophesying to his sons about what was going to happen to them on the last days, you know? Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, uh -huh. and hearken unto Israel your father. Uh -huh. So Israel, remember he says Jacob, but now he says Israel your fathers. Why did he say Israel your fathers? Do you know? Why did he say Israel? Is Jacob and Israel the same person? No? no? Give me that uh, Genesis word. 28, 38, 28. 38? 32, 28, 32. 38. Because you're going to see Israel and Jacob is the same person. 32, Prior 28. To us being called Israel, we were, we are the descendant of Jacob, right? But God did something to, it, to the name Israel, to the name Jacob. You're going to find out. You got it? Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. You see that? It says, Your name shall be called no more Jacob, we don't. But Israel. But Israel. That's why when you read in Deuteronomy, uh, um, Genesis 49, it says Jacob at first, then it says Israel. Because he, he changed the name of Jacob to Israel. So now the children of Israel are the 12 tribes right here from the 12 sons he had. You understand? So it's not a religion or a denomination, it's a nation of people tribes you understand so what we're going into is the laws that was given to the nation of israel you get it so we're not talking about religion we're not talking about christianity baptist uh seven days none of that stuff those things were man-made where's the sign those things are man-made you, you, uh, you see that if you look at down here the first person is john smith right in 1608 that was the baptist church this is the founder of the Baptist Church that you see all these black people flock to. That wasn't given by God. 1608 was recently. You understand? The Bible was given to us forever. Right? So, we're not talking about religion. We're talking about a nationality of people and we're talking about a tribe of the chosen people. Bring it up. That's what we're talking about. No religion involved here. The Bible is a historical book for the children of Israel. Do you understand? Give me that in uh, uh, Job, 8 and, Job 8 and 8. Let's see what let's see what was required for the children of Israel. We so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. We are the children of Israel. You understand? We all got chosen people. Take a picture of it, because that, that way you can remember exactly what we're talking about. Sister, how you doing? What's your name? Kenya. Where are you from, Kenya? 
Okay, so all right. You you see your name? You see yourself on the sign right there? Yeah. Right in the, in the, in the yeah. Right here. Where would you say your father's from? My dad. Um, you don't know? Not from me. I don't know. No. So look. Over here, you have the name that was given to us by our slave masters, right? You have American flag, you have West Indian, which is Jamaica, Bahamas, uh, 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 all the West Indies, right? Then right after that, you got Haiti, Puerto Rico, Cuba, so on and so forth. Where is your father from this time? The first one, Judah, right? So what we're going to learn is the names that was given to us by our slave masters are not our names. God never called us African American. God never called us African American or black people. You know what I'm saying? God gave us a name because He created us. All right. Give me that and give me Hebrews uh, uh, seven fourteen. Because we say you say you're from the tribe of Judah. How can I say that? What evidence do we have to show you that you are from the tribe of Judah? Or, or at least how can we tell that you are of the nation of Israel? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Now you're getting my mind. Like, I have just one quick question, then I have to leave, right? Go ahead, go ahead. So, you're telling me that John the Baptist. No, 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 no. He's a different John Smith. master. John Smith. John Smith. Give me that sign. Okay, no, 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 no. So, you, you believe in Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. Okay, so who baptized Jesus? John the Baptist was a. Was a. Uh, uh, was a. A Levite. That was the first Baptist, though, right? No, no, listen, listen. Not him. Listen, listen. The name John uh -huh. the Baptist is in the Bible, yes. Yes. He's one of the children of Israel, yes. yes. But the religion that was created by John Smith, the slave master, is not of our people. That's of what course. I'm saying. Of course. You understand what I'm of saying? Of course, but baptism so, is still practiced today. Baptism is something. Give me that. In the Baptist church. Look, right, let, let me tell you. Christianity practicing baptism, right? Uh -huh. What is John the Baptist himself said about baptism? Bring it out! What? See, no. I, well, no. I, what, give me that in Matthew. Because Jesus Christ was baptized. Let me show you. By John the Baptist. I understand that. Right, you, so you, you you're, not, you're not wrong for saying right. making that statement, yeah. but let me show you something that you don't understand. Okay. Give me that in give me my book, cool. Yeah. Let's see real quick. Because that's the confusion that we have on Christianity. Right, with Baptists. No, no, no. Listen, baptism. listen, listen. Okay, that's listen. the confusion that we have as a people with, uh -huh. with religion. Right. Religion tells you one thing, but they don't show you the proper meaning behind that. You understand? Give me what you have. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you. Read, first, read verse 10 first. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree. So John was, uh, when, as he was baptizing the people, right? He was telling them certain things. Give me three and one first, then we'll jump down. Matthew chapter three, verse one. Uh -huh. In those days came John the Baptist. That's what we're talking about, John the Baptist, we on. Preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Uh -huh. And saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So. John was preaching repentance, right? It's the same thing that Christ came and preached also. What it's the same that verse? Uh, uh, Matthew 3 and 1. So it's the same thing that we're preaching as well. Repent because what? Because Christ is coming back, the black Messiah. We're not looking for a white man to come and save us. The white man put us in this church, the, 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 uh, the condition that we are in, how is he going to save us? You understand? They have yet to give us any type of salvation. So Christ, the black Messiah, is coming back to save these chosen people. That's you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's something that you have not ta been taught yet. So that's what we come out teaching. So brother, read it again. Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, uh -huh. and saying, Repent ye. Well, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So John was teaching about repentance, we don't? But this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, uh -huh. saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Because the prophet Isaiah, uh, Isaiah was already prophesying about John the Baptist coming, preparing the way for Christ. Now let's jump to verse 10. Verse 10. 
And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Uh -huh. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit. Is so that's talking about the people. Now the 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 the, the axe is what the the, the the correction or the destruction that's to come. If that tree don't, or that person don't have good fruits, what's gonna happen to them? Which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Right. Which is the fire that's coming after when Christ comes, we don't? I indeed baptize you with water unto So John, are you listening? John say, I indeed baptize you with water, because that's the so that's the that's what he was doing at first, we don't. I indeed baptize you with water uh -huh. unto repentance. Uh -huh. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. So who's the he that John is talking about? God. Christ, right? Yes. Talking about Christ, right? Yes. So the he that's coming is talking about Christ. So John said, I am did baptize you with water, right. but he, Christ, that's uh -huh. coming and doing what? Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Uh -huh. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So John didn't say Christ is going to baptize you with water. He says he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Right. You understand? That's why, that's why I never you in the Bible that Jesus Christ has baptized anybody. Exactly. He was baptized. It, right, because he was fulfilling what Isaiah was prophesied about. You understand? So when he came now, now he's showing you how to, what that really means. You understand? So the religion Baptist has nothing to do with what Christ was doing. You understand? That's just a name the white man created just to fool all people to make it seem like Christ come for everybody. You see what I'm saying? You understand now? All right. They used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.